What's going on? We back with the boxing clinic and more. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow and Eddie Hearn says on the Toe to Toe podcast that uh, Dillian White might be next for Anthony Joshua in Wembley 2019. But before we get into the whole story, make sure you always check the description. The link is always in the description of whatever source I put out there for breaking news or news or just articles. Only time I might not link a source in there is for a rumor. And most of the time I still link somewhat of a source in there for a rumor so you get to just where it's coming from. And make sure you hit the subscribe button, the bell icon button so you know we upload and go live. And also, don't forget that we got the new college sports page for all my college fans out there, football, basketball fans. The link is in the description. Me to Kelly Enigma, Colossal Sports TV. Uh, joint collaboration on the channel. And once a week, we'll be talking about the state of college football and basketball when respective season starts. But we in here, man. And uh, on the Total Toe podcast, which I'll link into the description if you listen to the intro. Um, You know, I'll link that to the description. But um, he says that uh, the 100% target is, is Deontay Wilder. We want Deontay Wilder, April 2019, Wembley Stadium. That's what he says. You know, that's the absolute target. But if we can't get Deontay Wilder, Dillian White, if he beats Joseph Parker, is going to step in and uh, and fight Anthony Joshua in Wembley Stadium, April April 2019. That's the backup fight. That's You know, that's their backup plan, man. And that's the plan all the way along. See, this, this dude can't help to keep his mouth shut, man. He can't help. But shut the hell up, man, because he 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 lies and he snitches on himself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't want to do no crime with Eddie Hearn, man, because he can't keep his mouth shut. He abroad, you know, and, you know, they saying if, you know, Wilder's 100% is they target, man. That's who they want to target. Then if Wilder's your target, let's see if you uh, do a better negotiation than that $15 million flat fee. You know, and people still don't understand why he asked for 50-50. You know what I'm saying? The reason he, 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 he asked for 50-50 it's because they lied through negotiations. Because they try, they they wasted his time. All them people that you got reading through your contracts and drawing up contracts that drew up a contract for fifty million. There's still people out there saying that oh it wasn't no fifty million. Dollars. You believe Shelly Finkel? Man, they they confirmed it. It's an article on boxing scene that tells you oh yeah we got the we got proof of funds. You know uh you know the fight is about seventy percent done. in The article uh we just got a few uh clarifications or questions for Al Heyman, Joshua and you know Al Heyman. Answered the emails. He answered them, okay. And then Joshua said, "Oh, you know, I don't need fifty million or something like that." So still, people out there lying and denial about that, you know. And you know, when you go through all that drawing up contracts and then having people revise the contract, time is money, and money is time. That's take time and money out your pocket. And for them, never the one to fight you in the beginning. Them going over there and, and negotiating, been negotiating for the last two or three months with Alexander Povetkin, and knowing that's who they wanted to fight, not Deontay Wilder. Because remember, Anthony Joshua called out Deontay Wilder. It wasn't the other way around. No, he just get to run in his mouth. That's why Eddie always pull on his little leash and his little collar and say, shut up. You know, he, he ain't, he, it ain't his idea to come to America and flash that contract, family. That ain't his idea. That is to take away from the sorry ass, uh, the zone uh, introduction they're going to have. And to take away from the price, to take away from the sorry ass fucking fighters they're going to have up there. That that's what it is. Anthony Joshua's being used as a distraction. Don't nobody care about his fight with Alexander Povetkin, and don't nobody care about a contract that your people drew up and didn't have a date and a venue on it before. You know now and then Eddie Hearn continues to snitch on himself. Oh, we expect to do a hundred thousand and break records with Deontay Wilder. Y'all breaking records over there and, and filling up to capacity, but you want me to take a fifteen million dollar flat fee off a of possibly hundred million dollar live gate, which it probably won't be a hundred million dollar live gate still. Starting price still not a hundred million dollar fight, cause they don't know how to promote hundred million dollar fights. They don't have the amenities that Vegas got. They ain't got the amenities that damn New York City got. And they close at two in the morning, you know. But he already telling on himself, man. He already telling y'all that Dillian White, if he beat Joseph Parker, which they gonna fucking rob Joseph Parker, or or Joseph Parker just gonna get whooped. It don't matter. We might care about him, you know, cause he robbed Huey Fury and he and he robbed fucking Andy Ruiz in some people's opinion. And they telling you that Dillian White and Joshua next. We ain't stupid. Because they gonna still hold on to that fifteen million dollar flat fee. No. Deontay Wilder will not take the fight. So if you wanna show us that you hundred percent focused and that's the fight you want, well let's talk some percentages. He might not get fifty fifty, but the man that shoot for the stars at least hit the top of the building, the man that shoot for the top of the building or the top of the tree, hit the whatever they say to the ground. That's his limitations. But the point to be, you know, just he asked for fifty fifty, he you know, and start negotiating the split. I guarantee you come down from that 50-50, man. I guarantee you we do. You know, but they come with that same weak offer. Because the only reason he took the, that offer to begin with is to compromise and get undisputed, get out the way. 
He wanted to fight this year. Now you got to wait a whole, almost a whole another year to fight. Yeah, I want a percentage now. Now that you're telling me you're going to break records and I got to get a flat fee and you tell me you're going to deposit 15 million in my account the next day. But I only get a flat fee, and, and, and you the one that's going to make the most money. Anthony Joshua not going to make the most money off, off this fight. Eddie Hearn and Barry going to make the most money off the fight. How can you be a billionaire, Anthony Joshua, when you working for a fucking multimillionaire? He he paying you what he would you if he paying you hundred million for three fights. How much you think he making off your ass? The mad, I mean, broke back uh, slave, Anthony Joshua. He's an idiot. He ain't a real business man. I, I guarantee he ain't even graduate, bro. If he was a drug dealer over here in the United States, like y'all say he was, selling nickels and dimes, boy, they been ran off with his bag so quick, man. Kicked in his dough, took his bag, put him on the ground. They been, they been jipping him, crackheads telling him, you know, I'll be back. You know, I'll give you five or your ten dollars next week. You know, playing with Anthony Joshua here, he ain't no made man, dog. You know what I'm saying? You know, Eddie breaking him, but we already know Dilly and White gonna be next. You know, and it's gonna show their intentions if they get Water a better contract and get him a better percentage split. And in a real uh, 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 earning sheet of what this fight going to make, they have a fight, you know. But that ain't their intention. They're going to keep that flat fee, try to flash that and say, oh, this is set to this, he said to this. But you're telling him you're breaking all these records. You, you, you're going to bring him all this money and you want him to take a flat fee. Hell no. Nah. He got the most prestigious belt. And he's he going to fill up a hundred thousand, fill a stadium up with a hundred thousand if, if Anthony Joshua the biggest draw with Dillian White. And show them, prove them. But it is what it is. We're going to move on to the next topic, man, of discussion. You know, right from Eddie Jern to Tyson Fury's new opponent. Some dude from Italy, Forsaco Pinata, Pinita, um, 34 years old. Uh, three, three or four fights ago, he lost to Kevin Johnson. You know, he just coming off a loss versus a guy that's 11-0. and Then before that, he beat a guy that was 1-0. He's a guy that, that got knocked out by Vladimir Klitschko in six rounds. He beat Johan Duhapis uh, early in his career. But he passed his prime. It's another bum bash. You know, they're trying to say it's a step-up fight. Anything probably a step-up from Safar Safari. Some of my ass will get in the ring and be a step-up from that clown. You know, but it's another guy that's 34 years old from Italy. I mean, he done been around. You know, they done been passed around by the heavyweights over there in Europe. He fought that one guy, Ruslan Chugav. Chug Chug you know, Mr. Boxing today can tell you that. Chugav or whatever. He fought him, lost to him. You know, basically, he been passed around. And be a step up fight. You know, Larry McClisco for all all bums, basically. His share of bums. He bum bashed good. And Tyson Fury about to bum bash again. And that's why nobody took that call out when he called Deontay Wilder. He's in the contract. I'll fight you right now. Nobody take him serious, dog. Like he dropped some weight in, in the earlier video I seen. But like I tell you, it's going to take time. He still ain't stepping up back the way he should step up. Because I'm not saying that this ain't the proper step up way. I'm just saying the way he was running his mouth. Talking about how he's going to step up in that 400 pounds. He could beat Anthony Joshua. He'd just be running his mouth. But it looked like he did lose a little bit more weight. He'd been working. It's going to be August 18th, Winter Park uh, in uh, Belfast on the Carl Frampton, what is it, Luke Jackson undercard. And, um, you know, Frank Warren Promotions, whatever they want to call it. And uh, he'd be fighting this Forsaco Pineda guy from Italy. It, um, hopefully this guy don't get in there and quit. Hopefully a little bit more durable. I think he's a career welterweight. And most, I mean, a career heavyweight. Most of his career been heavyweight. So it is a step up in the right direction. Not going to cruiserweight and fighting the cruiserweight. Staying a heavyweight and fighting the heavyweight. And uh, we see how he look. Hopefully this dude don't don't quit. But um, hopefully Fury in some more shape. And like I said, it's going to take, after this, at least three more fights, man, for him to at least get in shape. But he dropped a little bit more weight, it look like. So he working. He coming back. He taking baby steps. He should. You all two years. You were shooting that shit up your ass, allegedly. You was on cocaine to try to cover the shit. You were shooting up your ass. You claim mental illness to take everybody's mind off of it. You got a backdated two-year suspension. Now you're trying to get your body back to, to be efficient and run off your natural uh, fluids and your natural protein and your natural amino acids and everything else. So it's going to take time. It's the Boxing Clinic and more. And uh, that's going down August 18th, Winter Park uh, in Ireland on the Carl Frampton. I think Luke Jackson undercard. So, um Y'all know what it is. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All those links in the description. Also, man, if you want to get in touch with me, business email, or you want to, uh, my business email, or you want a collaboration on the video, or you want a business partnership, whatever. But if you got a, a question or video request, hit me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, business email, straight, strictly for uh, business purposes only. Continue to uh, share the video. Share, share, marry, where, man. Hit the subscribe button, and also hit the bell icon button, so you know we know we, know we drop that heat and go live with that heat as well. And shout out to my brother, Cali Enigma. Make sure y'all go over there and subscribe to his channel. I'll link his channel in the description. This time for real, the Cali Enigma. 
Let's get him over a thousand subs. Y'all know what it is. One time for the one time. Your boy TBC and more good fellow. We go.